Hello, welcome to Yoga with Katie. Today we're going to be doing a flow class. Let's come to a comfortable seated position, sitting up nice and tall. Shoulders relax down from the ears. Close your eyes for a moment. Take for your calming breath. When you inhale, belly and chest rise like a balloon. And when you exhale, draw the belly button back to your spine. Focusing on your breathing, letting go. Couple more here, and we will slowly open up the eyes. And wiggle your fingers a couple of times, doing a few wrist rotation. Go the other way, forward, backwards. Shake it out. Stretching out the neck next. Ear to shoulder, extend the opposite arm out. Using the same hand guide to support the head. Lengthening the side of your neck. Stretch. Release any tension that you may have. Staying here for three. Two. One, slowly come back to the center. And the other side, you to shoulder extend the opposite arm out. Using the same hand, guide or support the head. Stretch. Slowly come back to center. We're gonna inhale the open up the body. Chin up, head back. Shine your chest up to the ceiling. Exhale to close, chin to chest again. Inhale to open up, chin up, head back. Exhale to close. Two more times. Inhale to open. Exhale to close. One last one. Inhale to open up. Exhale to close. Slowly come back to center. Stretching out the shoulder next. Right arm up and across. Pull back. Creating resistance. Chin is away from the body. Looking forward. When I face you, I do mirror image. One more breath and slowly release. Same arm up, we lengthen first. Place the palm behind your back. Use the other hand to guard the elbow. Tricep stretch, chin up, looking forward. Those who can bind hands behind your back, go ahead, binding hands behind your back. One more breath, and we're going to slowly release. Shake it up the other side, arm up and across. Pull back, creating resistance. One more breath, and we're going to slowly release. Same arm up, we lengthen first. Place the palm behind your back. Use the other hand to guide the elbow. Tricep stretch. If you can bind hands behind your back, go ahead, binding hands behind your back. Chin up, looking forward. And if you're not able to bind hands, no problem. You can also work with your yoga strap to bring the hands closer to each other. And release, shake it up. Hands up, that's how we're doing our side. Inhale one way, exhale the other. Feel the pain to your shoulder blades, opening up the lung heart. And that's the only thing they had. I need to take your option now. What? To go shop on weekends. They this just morning keep... we're lining up at 840. Yep. There are like Stop. 10 people ahead because they changed the way we line up. We used to have three lines oh, yeah. of five people. Now it's like five people for the checkout. Now we're going to come to a neutral tabletop. Spread all your fingers. Rest the knees in the shoulder, knees and hips are aligned, top of the feet on the mat, neutral spine. Getting ready for can and cow. Inhale, drop your belly, chin up, look up into your cow. Exhale, run your belly as much as you can. Pull your belly in tight, looking down into your cat. So we're gonna do this a few times. Go at your own pace and your own breath. Inhale one way, exhale the other. Connecting your breath with your movement. Creating spaces between vertebrates. Mm -hmm. 
Take an inhale in the center, exhale, turn over to the right hip, squeeze the shoulder and hip together, let the hip drop. Inhale, center, exhale to the other side, forming a C shape in your spine. One more. Inhale, center, exhale to the right. Inhale, center, exhale to the left. Slowly, slowly come back to neutral, swing side to side, release any tension that you may have. Coming into an unbalance, right arm and left leg out, right thumb to the sky, back toes down, you can stretch. Neck and spine in one straight line. Once you set up, bring the arms and leg out to 45 degrees or as far as you can go. Inhale to come back to center. Exhale to open. One last one. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale to open. Slowly, slowly come back and release. Swing side to side. I'm going to repeat on the other side. Left arm and right leg out. Left thumb to the sky. Back toes down. Looking down. Don't drop your head. Once you set up, bring the arms and leg out to 45 degrees or as far as you can go. Inhale to come back to center to extend. Exhale to open. One more. Inhale, center, extend. Exhale to open. Slowly come back to center. Swing side to side. Release tension in your wrist. Lifting the right leg up. And we're going to do a small little kick. Squeeze your glutes in tight. So in another words, your butt is firm. Let's do another four, three, two, one. Slowly release, swing side to side. Release tension in your wrist. Repeat on the other side, lifting the left leg up. Small little kick. You can feel that your glutes Affirm. Let's do another four, three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly come back. Release, swing side to side. We're going to transition to come down. So we're going to tuck the elbows close to our body, lower down. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Now we're not going to go to down dog, we're going to lower down again. So from here, we're going to go into back extension, strengthening the lower back muscles to support your spine, hands by your chest. Legs are hip apart, top of the feet on the mat. When you press on the top of the feet, kneecaps automatically comes off. When you're ready, lift the hand chest up, hands off, kneecaps up, looking down to protect your neck. We're going to stay here for five, three, two, one, slowly and gently release everything down. Extend your arms forward. We're going to come to a superman, forehead down, kneecaps up. Lifting the hand chest up, arms off. If you can, leg and thigh off. Looking down so that the neck and spine are in one straight line. Staying here for five. Three. And one more. Slowly release everything down. Swing your arm behind your back. Going into a locus. If you can interlace the finger, go ahead. Modification, arm by your side, not touching your butt. When you're ready, lifting the hand chest up. Thigh off if you can. Strengthening the lower back muscles to support your spine, especially if you have back pain. Couple more breath here. One more. Slowly and gently release everything down. Once you've come all the way down, we're going to go crocodile. So arms are in T, shoulder height, 
Legs are apart, it's why it's the mat, left cheek on your mat, bending the right knee. Draw it close to the right elbow. Make yourself completely flat. As we stretch out the left side of the neck and opening up the right hip. One more breath, and we're gonna transition to a weight on the ground. So keep the left arm the way it is on the floor. Transition to lie down on the side of your body. Bottom leg straight, top leg bend. Top leg can be in front or behind the straight leg. Top arm can stay on the mat, wrap around your waist. And those who can intertwine your finger at the back, go ahead. I'm gonna use my block as a pillow. So my, my neck and my spine Align. Putting more body weight on the left shoulder. Just be mindful of anyone who has any shoulder issues. If you don't want to do this, you can slowly come out of it. If you feel tingling all the way down to your fingertips, you may be on the nerve. So you can make minor adjustments. One more breath, and we're gonna slowly, slowly release, roll back to the center of your mat. Retrieve the left arm. Stack your hands on top of each other. Bend your knees, windshield wiper. Dropping the knees from one side to the other side. Let it fall wherever it fall. You can feel the slight movement in your lower back, your butt swaying side to side. Loosen up. Slowly, slowly, coming back to center to release. Now we're going to come into a bow, grab hold one ankle, both ankle. If you can only do one ankle at a time, extend the opposite arm out. If you can grab hold both ankle, kick the feet into your hand, bottom of your feet towards the sky, lifting the thigh up. If you want to be a rocking bow, rocking forward, backwards, side to side, massaging internal organs helping you to digest and detox. And those who are doing one side at a time, after a few breaths, switch to the other side. So, modification, opposite arm, opposite legs. Once you have enough of this, you can slowly, slowly release your time. Come back here and going into a seal. So legs are apart again. Come up on your forearm. Elbows remain, shoulders range. Shoulders relax down. Chin is away from the body looking forward. Now you can stay here. If you want more intensive stretch, push yourself up to the hand level. If this is too much for you, Please lower down to your forearm. So you can try this going up and down. Continue to strengthen the lower back muscles to support your spine, especially if you have back pain. We'll stay here for two more breaths. One more. And slowly and gently release everything down. Once you've come all the way down, we're gonna go crop it out. So I'm so in T again, right cheek on your mat, bending the left knee, draw it close to the left elbow, make yourself completely flat. Stretching out the right side of your neck, opening up the left hip.
one more breath. And we're going to transition to wing on the breath. So keep the right arm on the floor the way it is. Slowly transition to come lie down on your side. Once again, I'm using my block as the pillow. Bottom leg straight, top leg bend. Top leg can be in front or behind the straight leg. Top arm can stay on the mat. Wrap around your waist. You can also intertwine the fingers at the back. Putting more body weight on the right shoulder. Now just be mindful, right side will be different from the left side. If this is causing you a whole lot of pain and discomfort, you don't have to do it. Listen to your body always to avoid injury. Couple more breath here. And we're gonna slowly, slowly release. Roll back to the center of the mat. To release. From here, we're gonna come out into a child pose. Push yourself back up. Knees apart, back toes to touch. Send the hip down onto the hips. Forehead down. Walking the fingers forward. If you have a very tight ankle joint, hip joint, and you're not able to sit back, rest your forehead on stack hands, stack fists, or even on the block. That would help you to lower the hip down. So what we're doing is lengthening the spine, stretching our lower back muscles, opening up the ankle joint, hip joint, Massaging internal organs, helping you to digest and detox, calming the mind for a moment, massaging the third eye. One more breath, and we're going to bring the knee closer together. Coming into the mountain hut, walking the fingers forward. We're still lowering the forehead down, lifting the hips high, high up. So it's either the puppy pose or we can also call it the mountain hut. Now this one, you can lift the hips up. One more breath from here. We're gonna go into a low launch. So we will step the right foot as high up as you can, closer to the right hand. Now, if you need knee support, you can place your knee pad underneath your left knee. Those who can come down the forearm, go ahead. If that's too much for you, stay in the hand level. You can rock forward, backwards, Side to side. Coming into this dragon or lizard. Rocking forward. Backwards. Opening up the right hip joint. Staying here for a little bit longer. Two more breaths. One more. And we're going to start the right leg back. Switching side. So if you need knee pad, switch the knee pad to the other side. Set yourself up. Stepping the left foot as close to the left hand as possible. Rocking forward, backwards, side to side. Feel free to come on the baby to a side of the left foot. Now you can stay here for a more intensive stretch. 
Come on your forearm, rocking forward, backwards, side to side. Now listen to your body on this one because we're gonna stay here for a few more breaths. If this is too much for you, please push yourself back up to the head level. So listen to your body always to avoid injury. Staying here for three, two, and one. Slowly pushing yourself back up. Start and back. From here, we're gonna sit on the toes. Toe stretch. Toe stretch is again pose, just like the melting heart. And the low lunge, like the dragon, stretching out the toes, sit on your heels. If this is too much for you, you can sit on your block, raise the hips a little bit higher. Now we're not going to stay here for three to five minutes as in a good practice, only three breaths. So we're gonna go into eagle arm. Inhale your arms up, right on the left. Big, big hug. You can stay here. If you can lock the elbows, grab a hold of the thumb or the thumb facing your nose. Lift the elbows up and away from the bottom. Staying here for three, two, one. Slowly, slowly release. Coming to neutral tabletop. Tapping out your toes. Wiggle side to side. Release any tension that you may have in your toes. And we're gonna sit back onto the ankle, ankle stretch. Once again, if you have very tight ankle joints, you can also sit on your block to raise it a little bit higher. So your choice. Sit up tall. Don't round, stomach and chest proud. We're gonna go into eagle arm on the other side. Inhale your arms up. Left under right, big, big hug. You can stay here. If you like, you can lock the elbows, grab a hold of thumb, lift the elbows up and away from the bottom. Forming an L shape. Staying here for three, two, while slowly release, coming back to neutral tabletop, wiggle side to side, tapping out the ankle joint, release any tension that you may have. And we're going to sit back into a hero. Once again, if you have very tight ankle, you can bring your towels and support it. Maybe stay here, lifting the knee a little bit higher up, maybe just an inch or so, coming to a reclining hero. Those who can come all the way down on the mat, go ahead. Now, if you have ankle issues, if this is causing you a whole lot of pain and discomfort, slowly come out of it, as well as those who have knee issues. One more breath. Slowly coming back up. From here, we're going to go into the camel. So I'll show you to set it up. You can come on your toes. You can have two blocks behind you. So that will raise it a little bit higher. So block of three different heights. So those who don't need blocks, go ahead. Bring the arms to the back. Reach for the block, hips forward. Now you can use the block. If you don't need the block, you can just reach for the ankle. Opening up the lung heart chest. Chin up half back if you'd like. Couple more breath here. Slowly 
slowly come up, come back to neutral tabletop, swaying side to side, release any tension that you may have. From here, we're gonna get ready to come up. So we do a dad up, spread out your finger, tuck your toes. Lift your hips high, high up. Coming into a down dog, pushing the mat away. Release the head down. Feel free to walk the dog out by alternating, bending your knees. Inhale to come up on your tippy toes, stretching out the toes. Exhale to lower the heel back down. One more time. Inhale up on the toes. Exhale down. Inhale, come forward to plank. Not sticking the bottom, not sagging. Exhale to down dog. One more. Inhale, come forward to plank. Exhale to down dog. Slowly walk forward towards the hands, coming in to a forward bend. Legs are hip width apart. All ten toes facing the front. If you can touch the mat, touch the mat. If you cannot touch the mat, hold on to opposite elbows or behind the legs. Hip bones above ankle bones. Let your stomach rest on your thighs. Dangle here for a moment. You can hold on to opposite elbows to add more weight. Lengthening the spine, stretching our lower back muscles. Let the blood go the other way for a moment. Just be mindful that head is below half. So if you don't feel good about this, you need to slowly come up out of it. One more breath, getting ready to come up. Hands on waist for support. Inhale, halfway up the flat back. Exhale to slowly, slowly rise up to standing. Once you come all the way up, we're going to go back and counter. We're just going to place the hand on our lower back. Pinkies touching. Squeeze the shoulder blade together. Lifting chin up and half back. Not pushing the hips forward. So we don't want to do this. Further pinch your shoulder blades. Opening up lung, heart, chest. Helping people with breathing related issues. Chin up, head back. Stimulating thyroid gland. We'll continue to open up the shoulder joint. Improving your posture. One more breath. Slowly, slowly release. Shake it out. Getting ready for sun salutation. So top of your mat when you're ready. Big toes to touch, align the edge of your feet to the edge of your mat. Listen to your body always to avoid injury. Inhale your arms up, back bend, exhale, forward bend. Inhale halfway up to a flat back, hands on shin, eyes looking forward. Exhale, hands on mat. Set the right leg back and bend the left leg. Shifting the way forward to plank. Beginners can drop to your knees. Tap your elbow by your side and then inhale, cobra for beginners or up dog. Shoulders relax, eyes looking up. Exhale, fall back on your knees. Tap your toes. Lift your hips high, high up. Coming into a down dog. We're staying here for five breaths. Spread all your fingers. Mellow or Index finger facing forward. Separate your feet, two fists apart, not too wide, not too narrow. Release the head down. Eyes are okay, your toes, knees are belly button. One more breath. Look between the hands, step or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway up to flat back. Exhale, forward bend. Slightly bend the knees. Inhale your arms all the way up, back bend, and then arm down by your side into a mountain pose. Continue. Inhale your arms up, up with salute, back bend. Exhale, forward bend. 
Inhale halfway up to front back. Exhale, hands on mats. Let the left leg back and then the right leg. Shifting the weight forward to plank. Chaturanga is all on breath. Elbows lower than the shoulders. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale to down dog. Take your time to set up. Good foundation here. Lengthening the spine, stretching our hamstrings. Shoulders are external rotation. Elbows are internal rotation. Eye of the elbow facing each other. Coming into low lunge on the right side. So inhale, right foot forward towards the right hand. Left knee on the mat. Arms up, holding on to your ball. Palm facing each other. Pinky slightly curved in. Engage your arms. Eyes looking up. So front knee is 90 degree on top of the ankle between second and third toe. Bring the hands together. Release index finger. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to sink. Slide back then. Looking up. Feel the stretch in the left hip flexor. One more breath. Release. Interlace the finger behind your back. Opening up the lung heart chest. Looking up. Feel the pinch in the shoulder blades. One more breath. Release. Left arm forward. Right arm back. Turn and look at the back. Stabilize yourself. One more breath, slowly come back to center. Getting ready for the twist, so we're gonna turn the body to the right side, left elbow on the outside of the thigh. Hands in prayer, press the palm together. Turn and look at the top elbow. Stomach not resting on the thigh. Feel free to open up your arms for more resistance or coming up on the back toes. Any variation you like to challenge yourself. Stomach not resting on the thigh. Once again, we're in a twisted position. Massage the internal organs. One more breath. Slowly release. Hands on mat. Make your way to the back of the mat for hamstring stretch. If this is where you are, stay here. If you can sit down on the heels, go ahead. Modification. Come sit down, inhale the left arm up, lengthen. Exhale, we hinge forward, leading with the chest, holding on to any part of the leg for the toe. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, stomach come down a little bit more. Lengthening the spine, stretching out lower back muscles, hamstring. Opening up hip joints. One more breath. Slowly, slowly release. Those who are sitting on the hill, you can release because we're going to come to the seated twist now. Bringing the belly on the outside of the straight leg. Opposite arm, opposite knee. Draw it close to you. Sit up tall. The other arm up and over. Bring it directly behind your spine. Don't lean back too much. Front arm can be a stop sign hand. Prayer hands, any variation. Overlooking the shoulder. Looking at the back. Turning the neck as well. Massaging internal organs. Helping you to digest and detox. One more breath, slowly, slowly, bring the body to the opposite side, bow down, counter twist, stretching our lower back and oblique. 
Now we're going to slowly come back. Now we're going to see if we can lift the hip up. So I'm going to bring this right arm behind me using my powerful front leg to lift my hip off the ground. Top arm up if you can. Be mindful of anyone who has any wrist, elbow, shoulder issues. I'm grinding my bottom leg. Use my core abdominal muscles to lift my hip up. When you have enough of this, slowly come down. Unravel the legs. Now we're going to switch sides. So we're going to make our way to the top of the mat. We'll do a flow here. Step back. Come forward to plank. Lower down. Up dog or cobra. And then down dog. Walking it off out. Release the head down. Pushing the mat away. Shifting half of the weight towards the legs to minimize impact on the wrist. Slightly bend the knees and knee if you have tight hamstring. Now we're going to step the left leg forward towards the left hand. Right knee on the mat. So if you need knee pad, move the knee pad to the other side, square the hip to the front. Arms up, holding on to your ball. Front knee is 90 degree on top of the ankle, between second and third toe. Holding on to your ball. Shoulders relax down from the knees. Engage your arms. Bring the palm together, release in that second. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to sink. Slide back bend, looking up. Feel the stretch in the right hip flexor. One more breath. And we're gonna slowly, slowly release. Roll the shoulder back. Interlace the finger behind. Knuckles down and away from you. Lifting chin up and head back. Opening up Nang Ha chest. Stimulating thyroid gland. One more breath. Slowly release. Right arm forward. Left arm back. Turn a little bit of back. Stabilize yourself. Continue with the twist. Right arm on the other side of the thigh. And same prayer, press the palm together. Turn and look at the top elbow. Stomach not resting on the thigh. You can stay here. Those who want to come up on the back toes, lift the heel high, high up. Feel free to open up the arms for more resistance. When you have enough of it, Slowly release. Make your way to the back of the mat for hamstring stretch. If this is where you are, stay here. If you can sit on the ankle, go ahead. Or come sit down. Point the left toes up to the ceiling. Inhale the right arm up. We lengthen. Exhale, we hinge. Leading with the chest. Holding on to any part of the neck for the toe. Chin is away from the body. Eyes looking forward. When you come down, stomach come down a little bit more. So we're not doing head to knee. Lengthening the spine, stretching our lower back muscles, stretching our hamstrings, a little bit on the hip joint. Slowly come back up and we're gonna transition to seated twist, bringing the band leg on the outside with straight leg. Opposite arm, opposite knee, draw it close to you, sit up tall, the other arm up and over. Bring it directly behind your spine. Keep turning, overlooking your shoulder. Look at the back, turning the neck as well. 
Front arm can be stop sign hand, prayer hands, any variation you like. Allows you feeling resistance, massaging internal organs, stretching our lower back muscles. One more breath, and we're going to slowly bring the body to the opposite side. Bow down, counter twist. Bending the elbows, more room to come down. As we stretch our lower back and oblique the side of the body. Slowly come back up. Now we'll get ready to lift the hip up. So using the powerful front leg. So I'm gonna ground my bottom foot, spread all my fingers, align the wrist of the shoulders, using the core abdomen muscles as well as the powerful front leg to lift the hip up, top arm up. One more breath, slowly, slowly release. So take your time. And we're back down the mat, straighten out the legs, get the flesh apart out from your butt. Coming into our start pose, on your toes up to the ceiling, shoulders relaxed down from the ears, stomach and chest proud, and we're going to point and flex the feet, pumping blood back to your heart, helping you with circulation, improve flexibility, mobility in your ankle joint. Reduce wellness, strengthen the joint so it's not so easy to slip and fall. Now point your toes up to the ceiling, coming into a double leg forward bend. Inhale your arms up, we lengthen. Exhale, we hinge. Pretty soon your hands will be beyond your feet. Holding on to the end of the feet, the legs. You can also release the hands on either side or feel free to use your yoga strap. Neck is long, spine is straight. Inhale to lengthen, to be there. Exhale, stomach come down a little bit more. Chin is away from the body, looking forward. One more breath. Slowly, slowly come up. Set yourself up for the boat pose. Get the flesh apart out from your butt. Then you bend, come up on your tippy toes. When you're ready, lift the feet off the ground. Don't lean back too much. Staying here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one slowly, slowly release, come down, catch your breath, reset. Come up on your tippy toes, lift your feet off, don't lean back. You can continue to hold on this way, this way, or next level, let go. Staying here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, very good, slowly, slowly release. And one last one to go. Set yourself up, lift the feet up. You can continue to hold on or let go. Or okay, we can roll the bow for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, slowly, slowly release, come down, bounce it out. I'm gonna have left leg straight, right leg bend, bring it close to your body. Opposite hand, opposite foot. Now make sure the foot is in the center. We're not going this way or the other way. So take your time to set up, swing your other arm out. Staying here for five. Four, three, two, 
One, slowly, slowly release. Switching side. Bring this band across the body. Lift the other leg up. Opposite hand, opposite foot. So once again, make sure it doesn't swing side to side. And we're going to swing the other arm out. One more breath. Slowly, slowly come back and release. Bring the sole of your feet together. Wrap your hands around the ankle. Sitting up nice and tall. Rocking side to side. Finding your sitting bones. Fly like a butterfly. Flap about 10 times. Opening up the hip joint. Draw the heel close to you, grab a hold of the big toes of the entire feet. Inhale the length and exhale hinge, leading with the chest, bringing the elbows on the outside of the shin. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to fold. Neck is long, spine is straight. Every time you come down, bring the stomach a little bit closer. Opening up hip joints, inner thighs. One more breath, slowly, slowly come back up. Coming into a wide leg, so feel free to use the length of your mat. Get the flesh apart out from your butt. Point the toes up to the ceiling. Inhale, bring the arms up, we lengthen the spine. Exhale, we hinge from the hip joint, leading with the chest. Bending the elbows, more room to come down. So we're not doing head to ground. When you come down, entire unit needs to come down. So we have to open up the hip joint first before we go anywhere. And if you have very tight hamstrings, slightly bend the knee. Taking a few breath here. So don't worry about how far down you need to go. Over time, your body will open. One more breath. Then we're gonna slowly, slowly come back up. Coming into your side bend. So right hand opening onto the right toes. Bring the toes to you. Bending the elbows. The other arm up. Reach for the sky. Lengthen first. And then we're gonna slowly bring the top arm over. Don't worry about touching toes or touching anything. Shine the chest up to the ceiling, looking up. Feel the length in the side of your body. Stretching out the organs, stimulating meridian point, acupuncture point. Wrapping the top arm around your waist, keeping the top shoulder up and open. One more breath, slowly, slowly come back up. Switching side, grab all the big toes or hold on to any part of the legs, or you can release the hands as well. Bending now with the other arm out, reach and stretch, open up the hand, looking up. After you have lengthened, slowly bring the top arm over. Now shine your chest up to the ceiling, so we're not rounding down. Keep the body up and open. Looking up. Feel the length in the side of your body. Also stretching out the organs, stimulating meridian points, acupuncture points. Wrapping the top arm around your waist. Keeping the top shoulder up and open. Looking up. One more breath, slowly, slowly, come back up. Bring the legs together, bounce it a few times. Windshield wiper, bend your knees, 
hands behind you, so you're facing the same way as your feet, dropping the knees from one side to the other side. Let it fall wherever it falls. The knees don't necessarily have to touch the mat. Hips can come up, hip release. Open up and drop both knee to the right side. Probably 90 degree here, 90 degree there. Make sure the butt stay down. You should feel a stretch here, put your up hip joints. Look at the opposite side. Not leaning back. A little bit of discomfort. So you can ease up. One more breath, we're gonna come sit up. Now we're gonna come to a reclining position. So set yourself up. So we're still 90 here, 90 here. Turn, slowly come down. Now you're gonna feel an intensive stretch in your lower back, oblique. Adjust the ankle if you find that this is too much for you. Staying here for five, three, two, one, slowly pushing yourself back up. Now keep the knees bent. We're gonna winch your wiper a few times. Release any tension that you may have. And we're gonna open up, drop both knee to the other side. So this is 90 degree, this is 90. If this is too much, you can just make it a lesser angle, but the hip must stay down. You should feel the stretch here. Quarter side hip joints. Looking at the opposite side. One more breath. And we're going to come to four. Come on your elbows or your stomach. Now feel free to adjust the angle if this is too much for you. We're gonna to come to a twist. If you can bring the forehead down, go ahead. Now we're stretching out, you should feel it here, stretching out the lower back, the side of your body. Now this will also help you to relieve back pain. Staying here for five, three, two, one, slowly, slowly, pushing yourself back up. We're straighten out the legs first, bounce it a few times, coming back to a comfortable seated position. Sitting up nice and tall, continual shoulder exercise. We're gonna inhale the abs up, lengthening, Arm touch, release index finger, and we're gonna just drop it to the back of the head. Now don't run the back, chin up, eyes looking forward. Working on your bye bye fat. Three, two, one, dropping the elbows side to side. Three, two, and one last one. Slowly come back to center, doing 
you feel rattle shoulder roll, release any tension that you may have. Go the other way. Make a fist. Inhale, shoulders up to your ears. Make it tight, tight, tight. <sighs> Sign it out to release again. Inhale, your shoulders up. Lots of tension. Exhale, let it go. Two more times. Inhale, your shoulder up. Exhale, let it go. One more. Inhale, shoulders up. Lots of tension. Exhale to let it go. Interlace the finger. Press down. Metal. Ah, push the sky away. Lengthening the forearm. Continue with shoulder exercises. Slowly release. Coming into a gentle twist, opposite hand, opposite thigh, the other arm up and over. You can wrap the back arm around the waist. Keep turning, overlooking your shoulder, look at the back, turning the neck as well. One more breath, and slowly bring the body back to the center. Don't let go of the front hand. Inhale the other arm up, forming a crescent, looking up. And release the other side, opposite hand, opposite thigh. The other arm up and over. Bring it directly behind your spine. Keep turning, overlooking your shoulder, look at the back. Turning the neck as well. Slowly bring the body back to center. Don't let go the front hand. Inhale the other arm up, forming a crescent, looking up. And release. Now we're going to interlace the finger, gently place it behind your head, move forward, release any tension that you may have at the back of your neck, creating spaces between C2 and C7. Slowly, slowly come back up, shake it out. Bring your hands to our center. Thank you very much for watching, sharing your positive energy with all of us and letting me guide you through this practice. Always my pleasure. Namaste.